In his article, Materials for an Exploratory Theory of the Network Society, Manuel Castells argues that most of our societies today are facilitated by networks. Having previously worked in the labor sphere as a brand journalist, I can confirm that the relevance of his theory prevails over 20 years after its publication. In this video, I will explain how Castell's network society is reflected in communication efforts for union members through the union's goals for information sharing among the membership and how the communications department operates conjointly to complete projects tailored to member advocacy. As an entity specializing in healthcare, the union I worked for touts leadership, education, and solidarity. This particular brand narrative offers it a unique competitive verb in relation to other leading unions in Ontario, due to its in-depth understanding of labor relations as they affect the healthcare industry, and its dedication to developing proactive member leaders in the workplace through its extensive leadership academy opportunities. It is analogous to Castell's belief that production and competition can be measured by the generation of knowledge and management of information, because the effectiveness of union campaigns in their representation of workers' issues can determine the extent of a member's involvement with their union, thus potentially inspiring new ideas for communication materials, and the likelihood of the union winning the vote among non-unionized workers over other unions. To ensure consistency in member servicing, the communications department must work together with other departments and corroborate the necessary knowledge base and resources for projects. For example, the Public Affairs and Policy Department might request an educational brochure that explains to government officials why development service workers, or DSWs, require workplace safety and insurance board coverage, or WSIB coverage, in light of the government's new bill compromising legislation that would have otherwise guaranteed this coverage for DSWs. Through collaborative interviews and research with public affairs, the communications team would then create copy that highlights the DSW's significant role in supporting developmentally delayed patients and how health and safety issues at work can affect the quality of patient care if not insured as well as a design that strengthens brand recognition. Public affairs would then contribute to the project's approval process. This system is in line with Castell's notion about the network enterprise, whereby a large company, in this case the union, is decentralized to form individual networks, in this case the union's departments, that address business affairs requiring their special expertise, that being the DSW brochure and connect with others on different projects, respectively, upon completion. The point of contention regarding Castell's network society is that modern professional environments, in this case the union, indeed use a structure that allows for streamlined information development in fields such as communication intended to accomplish business goals, to empower members and maintain the union's competitive position in the labor movement. As evidenced by over two decades of cultivation, it is crucial for this new economy to continue embracing and adapting to innovative technologies, strategies, and challenges that will affect networking in the professional world. Of course, as long as the decisions they make are ethical, authentic, and do not impede humane efforts.